It's that time of year again where we take a look back and see how the world of EVs is progressing and we celebrate those that are advancing our transition to electrification. The way these awards are conducted is that we send out a survey to a bunch of different auto publications and journalists out there, Old Guard, New Guard, you name it, and we get their feedback on every single category. They do ranked choice voting, and then we tally those up at the end, and then there's a special new kind of ranking of automakers at the very end that we're unveiling here on this episode for this year. All right, let's get started. First category, the crossover SUV. The crossover SUV segment is the most popular here in the US, and as a result, we have a lot of entrants that are nominated. So, in no particular order, the Audi e-tron, the Kia Nero, the Hyundai Kona, the Chevy Bolt, the VW ID4, the Tesla Model Y, and the Mustang Mach-E. And the winner for crossover SUV of the year for 2021, is the Tesla Model Y. And this makes sense, right? The Tesla Model Y is sort of the hottest, most desirable EV out there right now. And so congratulations to Tesla. Next up, we want to look at performance. And the nominees for performance EV of the year are the Tesla Model S Plaid, the Audi e-tron GT, the Mustang Mach-E GT Performance, and the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. But before we go any further, I want to tell you that the 2021 EV Awards are brought to you by Climate Exchange and their 2022 Tesla raffle. Each year, Climate Exchange offers this raffle where you can win any Tesla of your choosing, plus they pay the federal and state taxes. They limit the raffle to 5,000 people, and they've already sold about half of those tickets, so time is running out. And of course, Climate Exchange is a 501c3 nonprofit whose mission is to achieve a durable, just transition away from polluting fossil fuels in the United States by advancing climate policy at the state level. This won't go on forever. As I mentioned, there's a limited number of tickets left and the drawing is happening at the end of February. So don't wait. Heck, buy one as a gift for someone and see what happens. It could turn into something great. Check the link in the description or head over to bensullins.com slash carbon raffle and get your tickets today. And the winner for performance EV of the year for 2021 is the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. With Porsche, the story is much deeper than the specs on there. It's about the character and the soul of the car and the incredible track performance as well. So congratulations to Porsche on winning the 2021 Performance EV of the Year. Next up, we're looking at the luxury category. So the nominees for Luxury EV of the Year 2021 are the Lucid Air Dream Edition, the Tesla Model S, Jaguar I-Pace, and the Audi e-tron. And the winner for luxury EV of the year for 2021 is the Lucid Air Dream Edition. The Lucid Air Dream Edition comes in two flavors, the performance and the range, with the range getting up to 520 miles, which is the longest range EV on the planet currently. And the performance, not to be you know, too shy there, is 471 miles of EPA rated range and the performance edition coming in at over 1,000 horsepower and the range edition coming in just shy at 933 horsepower. These are all completely sold out reservations. This was the first edition for Lucid, a new entrant into the market that is specifically targeting the luxury space. Next up, we have a new category, best electric truck. So the nominees for the 2021 electric truck of the year are Rivian R1T. And that's it. <laughs> so who do you think won? Of course. Let's talk about the Rivian R1T real quick. The Rivian R1T is Rivian's first product, their sort of halo edition that is gonna have every bell and whistle with other more stripped down, cheaper versions to come down the road. You're looking at 314 miles of EPA estimated range with the correct wheels. Then you get about a 10 to 15% drop if you throw on the all-terrain tires, which would make sense. In terms of performance, you're looking at zero to 60 in three seconds with a truck, which is just absolutely nuts. Of course, the tire selection and the road conditions will vary to make that. But really with performance, what you're looking at is the ability to wade through three feet of water and rock crawl at a 100% grade and traverse just about any terrain with a 14.9 inches of ground clearance. You can tow up to 11,000 pounds with the Rivian R1T, but of course you will suffer significant range loss like any EV does. 
And the Rivian R1T does come with a quad motor system and really impressive interior functions and features as well. And as someone that spent a couple days with Rivian, I have to say I was thoroughly impressed with it. It felt really high quality, really well done. And all the little bells and whistles, the, the speaker that comes out, the flashlight in the door, all these things just kind of add up to be a really unique, really cool, first product for them to come into the market. And so I think I speak for everyone when I say that I and everyone else are very excited about the future of what this company is gonna bring here and increase diversity in the EV space. So congratulations to Rivian on winning the EV truck of the year for 2021. But don't sleep on it because there's a lot more coming. Next, we have a category that is actually one of my favorites here and it is the best value EV of the year. So the nominees for the 2021 best value EV are the Nissan Leaf, the Hyundai Kona, the Kia Niro, the Mini Cooper Electric, and one of the most unique entrants, the Electra Mechanica Solo. And the winner for best value EV of the year is the Hyundai Kona. Prices vary, but you can get this in the US starting at $34,000 and over in the UK at under $30,000, right around 28,000 pounds, not dollars. And with that, I think you get an incredibly capable vehicle. It's not something that's gonna blow the doors off other things out there, but 155 miles of real world range in varying conditions is fantastic, especially considering that most people only drive about 40 miles in the US each day. So congrats to Hyundai on winning the 2021 Best Value EV Award. Okay, we're down to the last category and I was shocked when I saw these results. Uh, we're looking at the best overall EV, EV of the year for 2021. The nominees are the Porsche Taycan, the Rivian R1T, Mustang Mach-E, Lucid Air Dream Edition, and Tesla Model S Plaid. And the winner, for EV of the year 2021 is the Rivian R1T. I'm not gonna go over all the specs again because we've already done that, but I will just say that it is very exciting that we have this new entrant that is an entirely new category. There are no other legit electric trucks that you can buy, and they've only delivered a few of them so far, a couple hundred by reports out there, but that is going to continually to ramp up as their factory comes online, just like any new automaker has done in the past. Now, next year, the electric truck space is really gonna heat up because you have the F-150 Lightning coming, and then you potentially have the Cybertruck next year as well. It's still up in the air as to when that is gonna be produced, and there's still just so many questions about it. So estimates right now range from late next year to early 2023 or even beyond. But this is a new space, and I think Rivian deserves this award because they really brought it to market first. And you should be applauded for that. You're taking a lot of risk, you're pushing the boundaries. And for that, me and all the other EV fans and advocates out there want to congratulate you on winning EV of the year for 2021. So this last category is really not a category or an award, but it's sort of an analysis. And it's one that in the tech industry that we folks like myself that evaluated products have been looking at this forever. And the way this is structured is it's a chart called a scatter plot where you put a dot for every single automaker here and you rate them on two different categories. So on the bottom, the x-axis, we have vision. And vision is defined as having plans to scale manufacturing, source materials, and take advantage of all the benefits EVs have to offer. Then on the y-axis, we have basically the ability to execute on that vision. We call it execution. And we define it as the automaker's ability to deliver on their current EV offerings, as well as achieve their vision for the future. So when you look at this chart, what you'll notice is in the bottom left, the laggard category, we have Toyota and Honda, no surprise there. They're very vocal about their opposition to EVs despite certain divisions and certain experiments or something happening kind of behind the scenes. But basically they've been pushing against this for a long time now. Now in the top left, we would have our tortoises, which would be people with, with not much of a vision, but a lot of execution. Nissan actually typically would fall in here, but recently they've changed things up and the participants in the survey seem to rate them quite a bit higher. Now in the top right is 
is where everyone else is, the leader category. Here in the very top right, you have Tesla and Rivian, surprisingly enough. I was really shocked to see that the participants in the survey rated Rivian as high as Tesla in terms of execution, but that could be because Rivian's plans are kind of very, very small right now, right? They're not looking to make 10 million EVs, and so yes, they can accomplish what they're setting out to accomplish. That would be my guess as to why the participants rated them so high. Then as it goes kind of down into the left, you get you know less and less and more into that laggard category, which is good news that there are some very big traditional OEMs here. Hyundai, Porsche, Ford, Kia, VW. These are all great companies that know how to make cars and know how to do it at scale. So this kind of analysis is one we're gonna do year over year and we'll be able to see kind of how these things change from the execution and the vision and maybe there's some new entrants, whatever. But I thought it was, it was important to include this to give folks out there a picture of like who's really pushing this thing forward and who's, who's not. So congratulations to all the winners this year of the 2021 EV Awards. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a happy new year and I will see you back here next time.